This is an audio slate for dive H1973. UTC time is 2 hours, 53 minutes, and 50 seconds. Mark.
Hey Jake, are you on SPL? Videos on comms. Pilot, Jake, are you on SPL? I was going to take you out of auto iris. Might uh, affect your image for a second. That's me. Okay, that's fine, never mind. Yeah, all good. So we are, we are starting our dive again. We have been troubleshooting some hydraulic issues. Hercules and huh? our entire setup oh, is yeah. a oh, yeah. big complex system. So we've been working on it and we are back in the water now. Yeah. Our pilots are pretty busy keeping a close eye on a lot of different factors right now, making sure everything is in check as we go down. So it might be a little while before we can engage in answering questions and having our usual dialogue. So stand by, we're going to make sure everything's working correctly first. Check right. one, two, three, check, check, check. four, five, six, seven, check. Co pilot, check. Pilot, pilot, check. Oh, pilot, tiny little bit low. We're going to give you two more dB. There Ready, Rooster? <laughs> <laughs> Ready, Turbo? <laughs> Let's do this. Turbo Dan. Turbo Danny. Turbo Danny, I like that. That's our current temperature. We got 19.2. I like when yeah, we're screaming. We're screaming direction. Down. So like calling Danny. 37 molasses meters a minute. Something. Oh, maybe it's not up here. Huh? I said like when nicknames go in the opposite direction. So like calling you molasses or slowboke <laughs> or something like that would be. Yeah. yeah so we'll see about that. A little bit of humor in there. I mean, we could always play the blooper, blooper reel. Nah, that <laughs> that footage gets deleted after three days. So, oh, well, that's okay. Now we all may meet in the lounge and watch it for a movie tomorrow night. But I think we have some weather coming up that might affect our operational schedule. 
weather doesn't affect us when we're on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Have you looked at the latest weather report, Ed? I thought it would be getting bad by now, but it seems like we're okay for right now, obviously. Well, the winds are up, but it takes the winds a while to affect the sea state. So, and of course, we're always concerned when we launch on what are the conditions going to be for the duration of the dive. Because uh, it's entirely possible you could get in a situation where you're able to get to the seafloor and unable to recover the vehicle safely. Then you got to let them do a soak, which is even more dangerous. So. Rock freaking solid. But everybody's keeping an eye on the uh, weather here, including our data engineering team. Watch it closely. No lock solid at 2950, 3000. I love it. Watching our hydraulics on the RV closely. I could have recorded some of those gauges from the previous dives and played it back up there, and you guys would have been like, not again. Yeah, just watch it fall. It's the depth. Yeah. We'll do depth <laughs> level and yeah. pressure level. Yeah. And as the deeper we go, the more it fell. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. the occasional bypass. Boop. Jake, we've got a quick question about why we yeah. came up uh, before. Yeah. The um, question's quick. <laughs> the was vehicle wasn't working. On the other <laughs> was it a hydraulic issue? Yeah, it was a hydraulic issue. We weren't getting the um, correct system pressure or the expected system pressure that we normally get, which is 3,000 PSI around there. We were having basically flow dump um, unexpectedly, and we weren't sure why, but uh, we think we've solved the issue. Was it the bypass valve? Yes, yes, it was the bypass valve. It was a it. sticky bypass valve or weak bypass kidding. valve? I weak bypass valve. Let's just say it was worn out. Worn out. Worn out bypass valve. And so when you get into a situation with low hydraulics, everything that runs on hydraulics is taxing the system. Yeah. So you can't really be so the using the manipulator while you're thrusting all the way down. Sluggish. And yeah. Opening pan, the jaws. Pan and tilt is slow. Yeah. I mean, Everything. We definitely is saw slow. it on our last dive. I mean, yeah, we yeah, couldn't stay on the bottom. As soon as we moved the arm, we'd bounce off the bottom. Yep. Yeah. Slow mo replay dive. Okay. So, Jake, for this dive, are we going to know whether things are working? before we get to the bottom or are I we just going to have to wait till we get to the bottom to test everything out at this point i'm pretty confident things are working because we've been going to 500 meters and seeing the problem pretty significant significantly and at this point we're just about coming up on 500 meters and it, we are rock solid at 3000 psi so great and hercules feels like it's screaming down so oh yeah we haven't been able to go down this fast yeah since i've been on board yeah <laughs> Screaming down, I'm only 70% vertical, verticals. About three pumps, 10 years off my life, and uh, <laughs> maybe some balding. And oh, you are screaming down, aren't you? Yeah. We're going for it. Got to make up for lost time. <laughs> yeah, we, I feel like we've got a clock to two two try and get this stuff done two on two the bottom. 2230 That's what we're going to. Do you guys copy? Two two three zero. Sorry, I can't hear myself. Step two two three zero. Two two three zero. Step. Two two three zero. Roger. Copy that. Got it. Sorry, I didn't know. I couldn't hear if I was on or not. Side tone. My side tones. No, I figured it out. I didn't know my volume. Is that right? Ed, were you uh, here to witness our uh, theme song for the di for the dive? I'm not sure. I was. Oh. Uh, maybe I was. Is it a uh, Top Gun thing? Yeah. Yep. Figured we'd, we'd do some Top Gun. Had a good feeling, and uh, I know Jake makes a pretty good goose. We were thinking goose, that, but Jake's a more of a booster. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see that too. It's just the mustache and the blonde hair. <laughs> that too. Yep. And the facial structure. 
and how tall you are. And like uh, Deuce was tall, super tall. No, he was just standing next to Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Boom. Um, what do I got to put on set three? Not much. Huh. Jake always shades the camera so it's not uh, showing him. Should I catch up a little bit? Speed up a little more? Yeah, you can speed up to 30, but we try not to go above 30. Dan will push it sometimes, but... Yeah. Oh, no, that's Dan. Delta Dan. Delta Dan. Yeah. Delta Dan in the morning. Delta Zero Dan. Uh, so, okay, so it's looking good enough. I'm going to push the ship a little bit more towards the node then. Oh, yeah. Fesho is 2960 right now, and... Great. We passed 500 meters. Yeah, but it was at like 1,200 earlier today. And uh, we are not picking up dive Hotel 1971. We're going to main Endeavor node and trying to knock some stuff out there. Is that correct? Roger, we are at main Endeavor node. Copy. Did you hear my telco accent? Node. <laughs> nude. Node. Nude. 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 Ha Happy Canada. Happy Canada, yeah, guys. Day. 157 years, I believe. Please correct me if you have a Canadian passport and know I'm wrong. I think that's right. Bridge nav. Uh, they don't pull out your phones and check. That's not fair. I believe you're right. I, can I think uh, one of the uh, most widely celebrated holidays uh, around the globe. Yes. Uh, can we step... Eight zero meters bearing one six zero. <coughs> yes. Uh, uh, speed zero point five is fine. Yeah, Canada is one fifty six. One fifty six. That's close. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, the most widely celebrated holiday is Independence from the Hi, how can uh, go that United fast? Kingdom. So do we know how many people are watching at a given time? SCF does. They know how many devices are connected to the stream and what locations uh, they're in. Yep. Right now we have 40 people tuning in from the United States, 12 people tuning in from Canada, and a smattering of individual other countries. I'm about to, now that we're thinking we're in pretty solid shape. I'm going to post a dive alert on social media, so that'll let more people know that we are in the water going down. Yeah. But I wanted to wait until we uh, looked, looked like our systems were pretty solid. Everything's looking nominal. Yeah, we'll probably, probably open up the craft for... Yeah, let's open our craft. Yeah. Let's do some exercise. Give it a little jostle. I'm uh, going to fall uh, full wide. Thanks. I'm going to look at our ga other gauge while we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Am I push test forward it. or am I back? Okay. I'm waiting for comms. Is the uh, Zeus retracted? The sled? It is. Yes. Thank you. Trying not to get poked in the eye again. I just gave you. Power in valve. Okay, standing by for comms. In theory, we shouldn't have any movement. But we'll probably lose some, but not much. Um, Jake, I'm going backwards, backing down to the node, so just be aware of that when, I don't know if you have forward way or whatever, just. Okay. I, I do have a little bit. Okay, Hydraulic's cool. Hydraulic's coming on. Three, two. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Pump. You can see the pump actually uh, swash. Do everything it wants to do. Look at that. Here, let me give you 100% verts while you're doing that. 
Yep. Still looks good, 29. Still got slow jaws, but that's completely manageable. Your heading's starting to get off and getting all Roger. wonky. Like, I should be dumping fluid right now. I'm just, but I'm not at all. What's our pressure? 1800 right now, and you're giving 100%? Yeah. Plenty doable. That's normal. That's beautiful. Love it. Did you figure out what it was? Yes, it was a um, bypass valve. That was weak. And you just replaced it, or what? what did we replaced it. We also found um, some wires that were two two wires to the valve that were a little loose, so we tightened the that connection. Oh, perfect. Um, yeah. So, so smoking gun. That's good. So with full yeah. motion, I'm pushing as much as I can, as fast as I can. We're not really losing a bunch of pressure. I like it. Still in the arm. Unless you want to do white balance? Uh, no, we're still in the photic zone. I mean, it's electronically measurable daylight. It's not gotcha. visible. Hydraulics off on the arm. Nice. I may or may not have lost sleep in the last few days. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Racking my head, staring at schematics, trying to think of every possible scenario and think through this entire system as much as possible. Yeah, to I saw To figure out you. what was wrong. I saw you the other day after a three o'clock shift, staying up till six or something, <laughs> just, I don't know. Well, that's when I went to bed, no, so yeah. I, I don't know. What's yeah. Yeah. Staring at schematics and looking through all the mo uh, different diagrams and figuring out the system and- Kirk for dummies. <laughs> yeah. Herc Hydraulics for Dummies, yes. It's a great book. Read through it about six times. Uh -huh. Fell asleep <laughs> to it the last few nights. That's how Josh and Trevor gets everyone to learn the system. <laughs> <laughs> Just something like this, everyone digs in. <laughs> then you're going to get back to a completely different ROV and have to remember everything about that one after this. I know, I go to Lukai next month. We're going to do about 30 days of operations. So we're going to have stem seas on board. We're going to do nice. uh, oh, I love go to um, Luihi or yeah. the new name Which for their new name for, yeah, I was just going to say they renamed it. But I do not remember it offhand. And then uh, I'll be back there. Yeah. Um, end of August, I'll be back. Get you to come check out our system. Yeah, I'd love to. But the first thing we're going to do at Lui, uh, Lui, Luukai when we get back is <laughs> we're going to go service Aloha Cabled Observatory, which is a miniature version of this oh, observatory, great. but Look it's at 4,700 meters of depth. What is that? It's jelly? Oh, strange jelly. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a yeah. Cone shaped cone. cone. Yeah. Looks like cone a, jelly. what do you call those things for badminton? From what? From oh, badminton? Birdie? The little birdie, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard Badman. I was trying to think, is that like in Alberta? Where is that at? No, Hamford. not the name of a place. Hambridge, Massachusetts. Yeah. Hit the suction sampler. That, that's known to just, uh, I believe it's T4. Yes. I can just give it another. Oh, wait, you just gave it a hundred percent suction sample, and we didn't lose pressure. And then I gave. Uh, don't don't open the spares. Oh, that's awesome. Should we look at the? That slurp? is beautiful. Are, are you sure that four? It's on four. Yeah, it's a uh, starboard suction current yeah. uh, valve. Uh, I think it used to be six. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> we could see if there's flow in the if you go to bu uh, bucket cam. Oh yeah, there we go. See bucket cam. 
So you got to turn off starboard, turn on bucket. Although there's not a lot of sediment, it'll, we might be able to see something. Okay, yeah, up over do here. it again. Pumping. Oh, it's that one. No, that's Can't really see any. Oh, there's some stuff swirling yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, we wait flow. for it. Yeah. We have flow. Excellent. Well, Ricky, have you confirmed that the CTD is turned on and working? Oh, no. Hmm. Might have Stress to replace it. With it's another one, key. either with some um, OAT, CDD, or with maybe one propose. Don't know if we have a spare one with us. Well, the one's on the rosette. I wonder if that one would work. I don't know. Maybe. So we'll have to get Shane involved in that one. Mm -hmm. Endeavor node, here we go. And last time I was here. <laughs> huh. Is this <laughs> it? This is the front end of it, I yeah. think. Started yeah. yep, yep. I remember this terrain well. Yeah. Somewhere <laughs> somewhere in here. <laughs> Should we go see if there's a mark? There is a there's there's something in there, yeah. There's yeah. an imprint of Argus on the seafloor. Right. Um no, but this is just the start of that cable lay, so we won't if I remember right, there was a, a kind of a, a few loops of the cable right up right after the mud mat. Pretty early on they dumped a little bit. Where is this? <laughs> I had to <laughs> change my playlist. I think we went through oh. the whole uh, soundtrack. Yeah, the data from the blue sensor. Yeah. 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 It's receiving good data right now. Receiving yeah. Great pre data. Previously it used to be the IPO channel. IPOD. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then we replace it with this blue sensor, which is BT. We improved. And uh, not to brag, but I've got uh, data from blue in uh, each. Yeah, I was really admiring your uh, headset, though. Yeah, they're Davy Clark Aviation headsets. Yeah, we used to use them in the fire department truck because we yeah. had the engine right here. Well, you've heard these fans cranked all the way up, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, quite loud. Speaking of which, it seems a little cool in here. You guys comfortable? Oh, yeah, that's it feels good. great. We're good. My turn. Uh, it's Canada Day, so no one has the heart to say that they're cold. Everybody's putting up a good show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nope, mm -hmm. not cold at all. Seven degrees in here. Hey, Ed, yeah. do you know how to pull up the digital stilts camera? Like, I, I oh. tried to do that. Oh, it's not on, I don't think. Oh, it's not on, okay. Coming on. Step one. Turn it on. Step one, I think power. you have an ONOFF issue. And then... I go. wouldn't even know where to ONOFF. Uh, an ONOFF issue? Yeah, I know what it is, but yeah. I wouldn't know how to change how to, that. Yeah, you have to have the pilot yeah, I, power, I powered that. it on. Uh, uh, should have power now. Should have. Are you what about the now? ONC CTD? Uh, is that secure? Kind of not, we're not uh, using I that? I can or try what? again connecting to something here. Copy. But I'm, I'm getting the desktop at this point. Okay, good. Uh, and and uh, I think we're asking about your CTD. Yeah, is, is the secure? CTD we're not turning on? Oh, we're on? not turning it on. There's a power ground fault, and we think something's one of the... Pumps is flooded on the CTD. Roger. Yeah, thanks for the reminder, but yeah, there. <coughs> no, the um, going to the digital stills um, 
I guess, what do you call it, feature just takes me to the desktop of um, a computer. Hmm. Uh, is there a, um, I don't know, have it, let me take a peek. Uh, Marley might not, too. There's a program you have to run. Okay. Yeah. Do you actually, know what it's oh, you have to remote desktop into the... Yeah, on um, the left there should be a remote the desktop thing. For the still cam, is that what you guys are trying, yeah. To, yeah. Yeah. What trying to figure out here? Yeah, you bring up a desktop, <coughs> and then you have to remote desktop connection into the the computer on the DSC bottle. Yeah. Nice. So. Okay. Yeah. Probably a NUC or a. Oh, I'm looking for this. One. Yeah, it's a NUC. It's an Intel NUC. NUC, 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 NUC. Uh -huh. Do a remote desktop connection. What? What are you, what are you looking for over there, bud? Something. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's that one. Which one? A remote desktop connection. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. Yeah. yeah and then uh, just connect. Camp. Connect. Looks like a mushroom. And then, and then it's just ad. I think it's admin. I think it's admin. Yeah, I believe it's a password's admin. <laughs> Telling everyone on SPL a yeah. password? Come on, man. <laughs> well, you know. That's probably the first thing they would try. Oh, there's too many. <laughs> That's too many. Oh, it's not the one we said. Okay. It's just like admin. There we go. Yeah. Oh, oh it's no. Oh, admin. did you set a different one? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Set a different password. Well, no, I could easily have uh, made a mistake there. Oh. Nope. But it's asking not for what you're talking about. It's asking for the password, not the username. Yeah, but the password was also <laughs> the username. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, like an Maybe they changed it. Um, no. It should say it. So there's a there's a test document. Sexton. Um, New text document. Text and camera use. Yeah, it should say it in there. If you scroll to the top. All right. Thank you. Admin, admin. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I think that solves the problem. But that's what it said. That's what it was. No, but then. Oh, yeah, that is what you said. <laughs> yeah. Check one, two. Nah, there's no point in doing it again. You got caps lock on? Check one, two. It's nothing that's on. I, I can no, it's on. Cap it says caps lock is on. Oh, yeah, no, well, you no, just I turned just, it. Okay, I just yeah. did this. Oh, yeah, now it says it? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm messing with you. <laughs> okay, it's on. <laughs> it's very much like helping my parents with their printer. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Final time. There um, we go. What were, you what were you doing? And then, I don't uh, know what I was doing. Hit the, <laughs> the orange icon. That's the... Yeah, the remote. That's the DSC. Yeah. Yep. You're inside the sub now. <laughs> you're, you're on yes. a computer on the sub. Come on. You are in the sub. In the sub. Then you click on that. Yeah, that's model the camera. Name. Click on that and then just double click on it. Sorry. I don't know why I know this. <laughs> this is coming out of. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's something. That's something. I don't know the rest of it, so. Yeah, Come camera settings. I don't know. Halfway there. <laughs> Let's see what How's happens. How's our uh, hydraulics looking, guys? Lock solid. Nice. Yep. Happy Full to beans. Hear that. Full beans. Full beans. We've gotten some nice comments from people saying, "Well done to everyone who got Hercules back up and running." Looking forward to the yeah, dive. That's Great a job, guys. Minor accomplishment compared to that candidate day cake. <laughs> no, they uh, they really had a great team approach to solving that problem. I do a little push past your housing. Uh, not quite so little, but past your housing. So the sol the solution in the end, well, well, you know, that we think is the solution, 
was that uh, tested along the way, or was that something that just popped up towards the end? Or there was the problem theory? is we were only seeing the issue at depth. On deck, we would test it, test it, test it, and it looked like it'd be rock solid. As soon as we put it in the water, we would start to see the pressure fall. Whereas with the deep, we went. Yeah. And yeah. what we think happened is not depth related, but actually vibration related. Okay. So vibration from the thrusters on the vehicle, because you're creating all that thrust, and the whole vehicle shakes like crazy. Yeah. I'm surprised we don't see it in the camera. Yeah. And. Uh, Loose wires, as well as a weak spring on this one valve, causing it to basically put a uh, pulse, which is just bleeding off bleeding, pressure yeah. into the return line, causing our pressure to fall. And without pressure, we don't we can't create work. Mm -hmm. And is that kind of like that that valve? Then is that kind of like a check valve? Like once you dump it in there, it wasn't going to come back. No, or? it's um it's an energized valve. So it's, what it's called is a normally open. Uh, directional control valve okay and when it, we energize it we close that valve mm -hmm. so you have a magnet you have a basically a mag an electromagnet that moves this spool and closes off the valve yeah and if it's losing connection as well as a weak spring so it's a compounding just a worn out valve essentially and causing it to just bleed off pressure at a most inopportune time. Mm -hmm. Which that was constantly. Sense. Yeah. Well, why it got worse with depth is still I think it was mostly problem. to do with just just vibration. Vibration. As the man of as it, everything compresses it just vibration increases uh, or something? No, or? just thrust. You you're trying to give it a hundred percent thrust and it's just <coughs> falling and we got surge. I mean, also the weak spring, it won't return the full close. So there was a number of problems, but we changed that one valve out and we got there. And it looks good. Yeah. I gotta say, Danny, since I uh, was fortunate enough to get to sail with you, oh, I think that was nine years ago on a different vessel. It's really been great just to see how much knowledge you've gained in that period of time and your skills as a uh, engineer and fabricator, ROV guy, uh, and you have not lost your infectious yes. desire to make things better and solve problems. It's your been hydraulics awesome. knowledge so is impressive. Yeah. <laughs> that we got to sail together again. Oh, well, it's great. I hope it's maybe we sail fun. together a lot more in the future. Yep. Oh, you met me right out of school. I went to Seattle Maritime Academy, and it was a one-year QMED program where yeah. I was an engineer on the Thompson. It was my internship. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, well, you don't have a license to stand watch, so we're just going to stick you in the in, uh, in the machine shop, and uh, you just fix everything. That was a pretty good shop, too. Oh, that machine shop yeah. is great. Huge. Yeah. Full-size lathe, full-size yep. milling machine, all the welding equipment you could think of. I told you I still have that one uh, antenna mount you made for me. Yeah, antenna still mount. Still use it. Yeah. Um, I learned all kinds of things on that cruise, especially how yeah. to mount a really expensive camera <laughs> oh, yeah. on the mast. I forgot we hung like a $30,000 camera off the aft mast using this uh, oil field technique, uh, tools. Yeah. Yeah. Basically Actually, really fancy zip ties. $10,000 camera, I think. Of it. Yeah, still. Suspended well above. Well, um, if it would have fallen, it would have lost a lot more in, produc in production uh, than well, ten thousand dollars. We also uh, had it tethered so it didn't take somebody out if it yeah. came loose. Always safety conscious. Speaking of tethers, we've got a question about Herc and Atalanta and how they're descending together but apart. Um, Danny or Jake, would y'all like to talk about uh, what the setup is with how we keep the ROVs together as they go down? Yeah, Ed, can you give us um, the um, I'm not Atalanta sure, um, SD oh, actually, camera? They are, um, you want the uh, Atalanta aft SD camera. aft cam. Aft yep. cam. Uh, so let's do that on set three so people can see and I can actually bounce between them. 
So ROV Atlanta. There we go. So a picture is worth a thousand of words. And we come down basically tether to tether. So Atalanta is hanging off the A-frame off the back of the Nautilus. And we're lowering it down with a cable. And Hercules is essentially pulling on the tether as hard as possible while descending at the same rate. So they're keeping the tether in a straight line, essentially. And they're lowering down at the same uh, altitude or depth, as you will. So on our Sat 3, you can see a camera on the back part of Atl Atalanta. So Atalanta and Hercules are facing away from one another. And you can see that uh, tether or umbilical headed off towards Hercules. And you see the back lights on Hercules off in the distance. And then you can see the same view here from, wait, is that that? Yeah, uh, it's not a great view. It's really not. Uh, the our tether cam on Hercules is less than spectacular. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we're able to. And what, what does BPR stand for? Is it, isn't it? What's bottom, the, uh, bottom pressure recorder. No, that's not what I'm thinking of. Them. What do you call the uh, large plastic strain relief thing on the back of uh, the vehicle? BSR. BSR. Bend strain BSR relief. Thing. Yeah, bend strain relief. <coughs> Too many TLAs. Got to load those military acronyms. Yep. Thanks for explaining that, guys. We've got uh, another question about, on average, how long does it take for us to descend? And it depends entirely on the depth we are going to. Um, on this dive, we are going to just over 2,000 meters deep. And where are we at, guys? Are we past the halfway point yet? Yeah, we are, yeah, we are past the uh, halfway point. We're at about 1,300 1200 meters coming up. And we started this dive right around 8 p.m. local time approximately 40 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago. Yeah. So our descent rate is 32 meters a minute right now. We usually go down at between 18 and 30 and... Depends uh, how heavy the vehicle is yeah. and how what we, we have uh, what our in. ballast is and... Um, and how much you know, power how we can much <laughs> add to the vehicle without yeah. losing pressure. Yeah. So on average, it takes us anywhere between maybe one hour and mm. two or three hours. It's really depth dependent. Yeah. It's yeah, the rate. It's the depth divided by the rate of descent. And right now, it says we have 26 minutes to depth. So it, when we were working in the Channel Islands, we did some dives where we were on the bottom uh, as soon as we released from the crane. So, I mean, we, we literally put Atalanta in or Argus at that time just to keep it cool. So you literally could have been standing on Argus for the duration of the dive and have your head above water. That was very shallow work. We were looking for caves at that point. Having trouble with this target layer in here. I have them all here. I do okay. know from hard earned experience that like a 6,000 meter dive can take you four and a half hours to get down there. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, and definitely. Uh, White balance the cameras, get ready to image your first organism, and it's watch change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the old blue water watch. Great way to learn. Great way to monitor the system and understand what's actually happening with the vehicle. I came up to relieve Jacob the uh, other point in time, day, night, whatever it was, and he was imaging some of the close-up shots at uh, Faulty Towers, and I couldn't pry him out of the seat. I just had to go sit in the back until he was done imaging that stuff. I mean, I, I, those times I'll just be like, yeah, I'm not going to eat dinner. I'm just right, going to sit gonna here and here. do my sampling. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these sites have real challenging uh, problems to solve, too, where you have cables that go under, over. You've got, you know, four things you need to hold on to and only so many arms. 1.5 <laughs> manipulators. 
And sometimes when we've got a full manipulator doing arm work, we have someone on pilot, and then we have a third person actuating the camera pan and tilt. Yep. It gets uh, very interesting sometimes when we're doing these complex maneuvers. Getting really good data from B uh, from Blue Channel. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Um, I might restart this. So if you want, I can bring this over here. Okay. Yeah. Do that. This. Not that you can see very well, but. And we actually have three pilots on watch at a time and they work 12 hour watches. Uh, two of them are up here right now. Dan's down on the aft deck doing media interviews about how he fixed the ROV. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to him. Wrong delimiter? No, wrong column. I was. Oh. Being, yep. That'll do it. Do it every time. I think yeah. before they were put in as long lat instead of lat long. What? And so okay. I was fixing that. But then in doing that, I was being not smart. It's kind of a sound you never want to hear your navigator make, though. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> we're in Ohio. <laughs> How do we end up in Russia? Yeah. <laughs> I can't unsee the smiley face on the back deck after Mike mentioned it. Smiley face? I see Homer Simpson. <laughs> yeah, the bumpers? Yeah. Someone oh, yeah, pointed definitely. that same thing out yesterday to me, and now I can't unsee I, it as yep. well. Yeah. Well, it's just a happy frog. Happy frog. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I can't un just unsee it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I have. I think I have it figured out now. You were having an issue with your target layer. Yeah, I think it was put in as long, long lat instead of lat long, and but then in re resetting it in there, I was doing it more wrong than that. <laughs> I mean, but I've. That's a challenge. More yeah. wrong. Uh. Endeavor node. So how are we in science party land? You mean SCF land or communications yeah. Yeah, land? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're all on we're all in SPL land here. That's true. Um, good. It looks like we've had several people just join us. So uh, a couple questions about where we're going and how deep. Again, we are going down just past uh, 2,000 meters, so about 2,300, and um, we should be down in another 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Mm, yep, yeah, 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Take a while to get the vehicle sorted and then start knocking out objectives. Yeah, it looks like we're going to try to collect some samples on this dive. And this isn't going to be a super long one as far as we know, right? I don't think so. I think the weather is the constraint there. Yeah. We'll stay down we don't have a lot of possible. tasks either, I don't think. Yeah. At this site. I just want to go back and right. go play with those smokers. Yeah, soon enough. Definitely have to go back there. I don't think, have we done anything at Mothra? We did. Um, Waffle. 
Mothra. Mothra. I don't know why I heard waffle. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry. I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> hungry. Is there anything at Mothra House? Well, we haven't had breakfast in how long? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, and I love a waffle. They had these really good waffles the other day. They were like pressed and oh. and like very sweet. But and they're like quartering them too, so you can yeah. take this. Uh, I'm salivating. Well, maybe yeah. they need to start, you know, doing it at 3 a.m. No, it's joking. <laughs> Nah, the other day I should have stayed up and had breakfast, this. but I was exhausted. Uh, person I'm sharing a stateroom with, uh, I don't know why I was awake, they came in and hit the rack, get some rest, and as soon as they, you know, you hear that light go out and the final sigh at the end of a, you know, long day. Followed four seconds, like, oh, I forgot my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> so, they've got to get out, go back up, move stuff around. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yep. Well, my favorite's when you uh, go take a shower and you go back to the room and you just get lay in bed and then all of a sudden you say, where's my cell phone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somewhere, maybe in the head. I lose my w my water bottle about once a day, maybe twice. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people think about, you know, just all the activities of daily living are happening on, you see a research vessel at sea and you're thinking RV pilots and technicians and scientists and everything, but there's cooks and there's people doing paperwork and people doing laundry and all the things you do at home. Uh, maybe not walking the dog or mowing the lawn. We're our own little, own little community out here. Yeah. We do have a question about. We get a lot of questions about food and what we eat. We have a question about favorite meal. I think because you were just mentioning waffles. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, is there a favorite meal anyone has out here? A particular dish or? Oh, the curry is always very good here. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of breakfast too. Breakfast is always good. Cookies. cookies yeah, there are cookies three, every afternoon. 3 p.m. Sometimes it's a baked good. Sometimes it's a cookie. I haven't quite figured out the pattern yet. Nothing beats the chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, chicken wings are good, good. especially good. at 3 a.m. They're very good. Always a couple. There's like probably four entree selections, maybe more. Oh God! I said it was like seven. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, yeah, at least seven sides, and then uh, two or th three salads. Uh, I think we have bread from a very uh, good bakery. Oh, that bread yeah. is amazing. I forgot to make that adjustment. I'm making that adjustment on the bridge volume, guys. Sorry. I usually remember to do that. There we go. Yeah, bread's very good. And every Sunday, when is Sunday? It seems like it's been a while since we've had ice cream. Do you know what day Sunday. of the week it is? I think it's Sunday tomorrow. Oh, okay, it cool. is. Yeah, today's Saturday, July 1st. And we've been having, what do they have for ice cream? Uh, honeydew custard. Oh no, lemon custard, honeydew something else. Honeydew mochi. Mochi and a, some sort of sorbet, yeah, I uh, think. It's an SI. SI sorbet, yeah. It's interesting. Every boat I've been on usually has an ice cream freezer that you can just grab out of any time you oh, want. Oh man, there's there's one I I've, I've worked on before that the ice cream freezer has drumsticks and magnums. Oh yeah. And that's that's how to know, keep up on it. Luckily, they also have a very nice gym. <laughs> we have a nice gym here too as well. I think one of my favorite stories about a really sad time was the day we lost uh, Lukai. We left it on the bottom. And Rock solid. The PI was yeah. actually in the galley with a full quart of ice cream in front of him and a spoon. Just nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm following up on the meal question. We have a question about what we do when we're not on watch. Is there anything special that we do to pass the time? Um, I, 
And a lot of us work other jobs when we're not specifically on yeah. watch. There's always more stuff to be done. I had a super productive day to today. Knocked a ton of stuff out, uh, taking advantage of the break in operations. But yeah, I, I work my job and try and get a little bit of sleep. You only ever are able to get about six hours in a run of sleep, so you try and make up for that the other times. Yeah, a lot of it's just like maintenance of your own body, so exercising, sleeping, showering, eating, showering, and laundry, yeah, and that's a full day with your watch. Yeah, there's not a lot of idle time to watch TV or read books or do Yeah, any unless we get weathered out or, for a day or two. Yeah, that's a nice time to, and I'll make sure like my team recharges and re-energizes for Catch another up on stretch. Sleep. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, and uh, sometimes we don't really have that out here with ONC, but there there could be a, a day or two transit occasionally between study sites. Yeah, I was telling uh, some folks on my team about how quickly we hit the ground running with this particular expedition. A lot of times there's a couple days of transit at the beginning, but we just left port and started working. I did a uh, project for Ocean Networks Canada once on a different vessel where we were at the dock and I was asking, where's our first dive site? And the person I asked pointed and said, see that yellow buoy? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's quick. Yeah, because there's, uh, there's an inland observatory as well. Uh, we're, we're out off the west coast of Vancouver Island, but they also have a, a observatory uh, in inland waters, in the Strait of Georgia and Saanich Inlet, mm -hmm. um, and in the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Cool. They have instruments. I think those are auto autonomous moorings. So. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize quite how big uh, Ocean Networks Canada is, just with how many people they employ and how many different projects they've gone on. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And they're on all three of uh, Canada's coasts doing yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. I think this observatory is like 880 kilometers of uh, cable. I'm not sure. This one? Yeah. Um, the backbone's 800 kilometers. Okay. And then, I don't know, we've got a lot of spur cables are like between 5 and 20 kilometers long. Yeah. The um, This observatory being one of the first to come online, um, hedged their bets wisely and built it using a loop uh, backbone so that should the cable fail or get severed at one point, they would still have a, a, another route to a lot of the primary nodes. Um, so it's a big looping thing that comes out of almost the center of Vancouver Island. like 400 meters off bottom ish you take the bottom 12 minutes
access one too. Dan's back from taking victory laps around the boat. No, back from shame. Shame, shame. Delta Dan in the evening, signing on. We got about 350 meters to the bottom, and the site that we're working on will be to the southeast of Hercules. Roger, south I think east. once you stop pulling and dragging, because uh, I just moved the ship back, then we should be able to reach it from where we are. Hey, Dan. Yeah? Do you feel like answering an engineering question? Sure. From Josh? It's a... Uh, it's just about the winch cable. We have an engineer who's very curious in the details of our winch cable that's attached to Atalanta. And uh, the assumption that it's single mode fiber. Correct. And the power cable is fairly small diameter. Correct. The power specs say 110 volts, 60 hertz AC power, but for such a long cable, that seems like a huge voltage drop. Well, I'll add a couple of zeros there. Yeah. <laughs> it, okay. It is, um, so the system is powered off of 480 volts AC, and that goes through a step-up transformer to uh, 2,600 volts on this particular system. And that runs down the 6.8 cable and uh, directly to the motor on Hercules, it spins it. It's a modified um, well motor, basically. And so it's it takes uh, 2,600 volts. So when we hit the button up here, the motor spins. Okay. And um, <coughs> there's some uh, toroidal transformers on both Atlanta and Hercules, and they take 2,600 volts in and spit out 120 volts AC about 9 uh, kVA, somewhere in there, 7 kVA, something like that. And the cable size, they were asking about that as well? Yeah, we refer to it as a 6.8, so it's, uh, yeah, whatever that works out to. And 0 0.681 inch. 0 0.681 inch, and yeah. from if you're from Texas, that's less than 3 quarters of an inch, but more than 5 eighths. That's a good assumption. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Uh, what is it? 18, um, 10 gauge wire going through there? And we have. Uh, no, uh, they're actually like. Uh, 12 maybe? Yeah, I'd say they're less than that. 14 maybe. But it's all but high voltage, 10,000 uh, uh, volt rated uh, wire. Very thin insulation on them. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Well, where's it, where are the fibers in the 6.8? Are they in the core or are they wrapped around? No, they have their own uh, channels. There's a steel tube in the 6.8. Right. So and they're they're wound in. Does it have yeah. two counter wraps of steel on the outside or one? Three, actually. Three. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, the, the amperage in the cable is only about 8 amps right now. I'm looking at it. 6, 8 amps somewhere in there, depending on how hard we're we have, uh, what, 7,200 meters of that cable on the winch? Indeed, yeah. Gets a little shorter every year. We cut it back and yeah. send a piece off to be tested. And that's usually the piece, at obviously, at the end by Atalanta. It's the one that takes all the brunt of the force every time the boat takes a heave. So we do a retermination of the cable and uh, load test to 12,000 pounds. Use the uh, typical on an ROV system to retermate the main wire every year. Kind of interesting. Every time we mow, we terminate, have to sit terminate to 681 and we do it several times a cruise sometimes. Yeah. One time we, uh... Really? Well, one time we, we had an issue. About that. And then the, we uh... ready to dive, and, uh, we actually got a hawk on it right above the shiv, oh. uh, TMS and the shiv. Hmm. It just kinked it. 
more weight on your TMS. No, it's because it was unspun before they brought it on deck. Mm -hmm. And then they brought up tension. Like 200 meters off bottom. Yeah, I got no, uh, maybe a little hint in the sonar there. It's hard to say. It's pretty flat out here by the node. What these nodes usually have, is it Ling Khan sitting on top? Maybe I'm thinking of Sandwich and like, this is too deep for Ling. What's that, Ed? Yeah, it's pretty quiet. The, um, the inland water one have uh, Ling Khan usually gathered on top of them. And rockfish. Both yummy. Ever seen those green links? Scuba diving, but not doing this stuff. I lived off the Oregon coast and uh, used yeah. to go and catch those off about three miles. Got one once by, I caught a rockfish and then a green link actually huh. came up and <laughs> latched onto the rockfish. So <laughs> and I pulled it up and I was like, there you go. Okay, two for one. And isn't it the um, umbilical, Dan, that has the fiber inside the metal conductor? <laughs> yeah, it's a that's crazy. That's a novel approach. Crazy tether. This is the only system I've ever seen where they, the fiber optic, uh, I don't know what you call it, cable, wire. The fiber, Conductor. Yeah. Conductor, yeah, the fiber optic's actually wound inside the high voltage conductor. That is definitely an interesting approach. What's the strength of that uh, type of just by itself? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure it's up there. And it doesn't seem like it's very thick, so... No, it's a regular. It's similar to the tethers that are used on the commercial vehicles. and You can, in theory, lift a vehicle with a tether, but it's... Uh, the Kellums. The force on the kelloms usually damages the, you know, the TPR. Yeah. I guess with that. They take the full weight of the vehicle all the time, so. I don't know what happened to my dark mode here. Oops. Don't let me crash into the bottom while I'm trying to turn on dark mode. Oh, yeah, 2100 meters. No, no beams yet, but should be about 100 meters off. Maybe I'll deal with it later. Yep. August looks like it's starting to pick up some kind of altitude. Yeah, the um, dive plan here says the depth is uh, 2320. 320. Oh, two somebody. Two zero. Oh, okay. I always take those numbers with a no, that, that tracks grain of salt. Everything that was copied from that was 2230, but so 2320. So we uh, were 200 off the deck. Thank you for that clarification. So I have time to. Where would that affect anything? Probably that's all. You have it over there on yours working. Why is why is mine not working? Maybe you should close the program, bring it back up. I don't want to do that. Timely system health check is done.
How many sediment traps did we recover today? Just one? Anybody know? Two. Two. Presuming that they got the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Three beams. Roger. Let me know when you want me to stop the wrench. Uh, you can go manual now if you want. Switching to manual. 100 meters altitude, somewhere in there is usually where we start paying attention. Pull wide. It's Pull killing running, you can't see it, 200. I know, the uh... <laughs> I guess 100 is not so bad compared to 200. No, I'm used to 30. <laughs> now that we have the different, uh, the different Doppler on it. Yeah. Yeah, that one, the other one would be much shallower than that. Or much deeper, rather. Yeah, usually 30. Yeah, 30. 35. 30, 30. If you're lucky. No, 23, 30. 20, uh, 20? Okay, I'm going to switch over to Doppler. All right. And get all that set up. Rumor is it's fairly flat here, so... It is. Uh, if you slow down a bit, Danny, let me get... Uh, 35 meter delta. Right there. Maybe before the end of this cruise, I'll have a uh, speed control for this wrench. in here, I'll do it for you, since you got your hands full. I'll enter auto heading engaged. Southeast, you said, eh, Rennie? Yeah, we'll be going to this, the JB right there. I'll do that. Okay, Danny, come on, I'll stop on the winch for me. Down on the winch. I'll stop on the winch, 2276. Bottom in sight. Roger. Walk bottom. Are you happy with this heading on Atalanta? Can you uh, take a gauge reading now that we're here? If you haven't already. Can you uh, just record the gauges at depth here? At what depth? I can barely hear you, Danny. It'd help if I was unmuted. <laughs> well, I said I just took a reading at 340, but I could take another one now. 340. It's a mud UTC. UTC. So it's 414 now. Roger. Uh, uh, that, that checks out almost exactly, so this nav looks like it locks in. That's good. Um, yeah. I just think that the nav at the event sites is funny. 
you know. That 20 meter offset. Oh, it's, it's good this here? Is, this is spot on? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it's yeah, current with which way the plume's same. going or what. Uh, it could be that. It could be the AUV maps there. I don't know. Uh, come down uh, five meters. Coming down five meters. Let me. Uh, right now, well, I'm just taking some pictures, but um, I'm wondering. Right now, we're still saving to Hercules Dive 1970. Kind of I don't know how to set it up to please. save to a different spot. I did create a new file, but I don't know how to. Yeah, but I did. But so you go down, you go this, and then what? Stick the amp out there for Ed. I'll, do I'll move this over. Thank you. Um, I can set Atalanta up now that I know where we are. I'm going to bring Atalanta a little bit closer to the right. junction box. So that will be 20 meters at 125. All right, do that. Bridge nav. Step two zero meters, bearing one two five. I'm gonna come in. Yep. Thank you. I can adjust for you. Or? Well, that's good. Yeah, I tried looking through there, trying to find this cruise. And you gotta go to drive C. We have PC and the drive C and local disk, and then this cruise or current cruise. I think that works. I'm gonna black balance the camera. This is gonna make the camera go black for about ten data? seconds. Data. Intentional. Copy. Yeah, data. Now. Current cruise. There we go. I've already made the folder. One nine seven three. It's right here. But I didn't know. I couldn't find it before. Now it's right there. Yeah. So if you click that one, it should be good. Good black balance. White balancing. Yeah. Maybe change that one to prefix one nine seven three. Do you just go back? Yeah. Thank you, pilots. Oh, ready to roll. How do you change the prefix? Right Okay, um, if you come out of auto XY for one second. No. Got further than what I could, Fabio. Feels good. Okay, there we go. Slow good jobs, to go. But usable. Um, okay, go so uh, back row, are we going to head to the JB? Is that correct? Um, yeah, first step is go to the node. To and the node? We'll, yeah, well, node, JB, they're kind of right next to each other. Okay, Roger, we'll just go east. And then... Um, Dan, do you want me to secure hydraulics or leave them on? Um, I don't can. think it's going to make a difference anymore. Yeah, you can turn them off right now. Hydraulics secure? Yeah, I'm following the orange cable, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. yeah, that one's going to go to the Good node. Good assumption. So we're just going to the node and the IP. We're just checking out. Uh, if there's anything new, anything interesting, um, recording the new or positions and orientations. And one thing I'm kind of interested in it is um, at what altitude do you start stirring up the sediment? Because after this, we'll be going to the uh, corrosion experiment where we will want to get as close as possible and take some niskins before stirring up the sediment. So the idea is to get really close, but we don't want to stir up sediment. Yeah, I can get down to less than a meter. Uh, stirring it up. Okay, perfect. If uh, give me a second here to. Um, Adelance is coming your way. It'll just take a second. Right. Uh, yeah. Once we get a little leash there, I'm tight on the. Then I can dial in our. See what our ballast is like. It's kind of hard to tell when we're tight. Seem to be floating here, which is a good thing. Uh, if you can take some pictures here, Fabio, because um, our current site layout diagrams are not representative of, of what we're seeing here. Jeez, I to turn the joystick gain down. This thing's a hot rod now. I wanna it is saving to it. Like no, no, I know, I just want to go to the view where we can instantaneously see the, the files. Maybe tools? I don't know. Uh, uh, do you have the DSC on one of the PCs, Ed? Uh, stand by. Put on PC2, maybe? PC2, I. Right. Stand by. Yeah. Yeah, there's. I could just hit the. <laughs> yeah, it should be default there, because we don't need sonar in PC2, because we have sonar on another PC. Yeah, sometimes 
Uh, Dr. Ballard likes the sonar in the lounge. Ah, I that's see. why that's on. That's why that's default. Yeah. What's but that thing called again? What's that? The still camera. What's the? Still cam. Yes. Yeah. Still cam. Page six or something. What's this near? Right. Uh, What's indeed yeah. on page yeah. six? That's awesome. What that's are these lines you got here? Do you get your ratios right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you want to see back there, Dirk? Okay, so if we can just do a um, pirouette around this platform. Pirouette around the platform, Roger. You can get a little lower down, but... Oh, I can get lower. Yeah, extra just our, um I'll we'll see if I can uh, center it with the DSC and my camera as well, so we get both. It's just so we can redo the site maps? Yeah, it's site maps, looking for anything. Um, that might have changed since last time. It's just kind of standard if we yeah. have a little bit of time. Who's on this IP? Uh, that's Admiral Akbar. Oh, that's right. We'll get a good shot of him. Be careful, though, because it could be a trap. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we'll get a heading What's here that, when we line up. I can't hear you, mate. Uh, 182. Yeah, I like 10 meters the other ones. Got 180. Yeah. Okay, so our heading is the same, oh, Ricky. And maybe from Remy you can get a... Yeah, once we get like right on it, I'll get a fix. Or once he circles around it, I'll take the center of it. Okay. If I'm going too fast, let me know. Bobby, and you're getting pictures? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can't get all the way around yeah, it. Yeah, sorry, it's, it's coming, but it's slow. I'm getting the protocol for the... I don't know, Samples. I don't get around. Yeah, or sorry. Or the canisters. Got yeah. no tether out here. You, you have some extra. Want to come down? Mm, yeah, come down three more meters. Extra? Just a come little. Down three pretty flat out oh, here. A little bit, yes. But I didn't bring much. Change your heading to the left a little, too, when you get a chance. This platform was to pull it last be, year. Give me another. Oh, I'll just center up perk there in the box. Oh. Why is it all grainy? Pardon? Oh, it's it was it's. I'm gonna bump it like even that. closer to the node because I think it. the experiment is gonna be f further south. So I'll just keep yeah, coming with can, Atlanta. You can put it right over me if you want. Raj. Twenty meters, one six zero. Okay, that's as far as Bridge we go now. for now. There's something else you want to see while I have a uh, yeah. southerly heading? Step two southerly zero yeah. meters, bearing um, one six zero. What's that? If you can look around at the node, the interesting Thank part's you. really Under. on the other side of it. but The other side of this? Yeah. Yeah, I don't quite have the leash to get around there yet. Okay. You can yeah, see it's and, spread uh, out. It's pretty far away from me. Atlantis view, so... Yeah, it's a little stretched out. Yeah, it's stretched nice out. not having or not having so much of the plume in the Atlanta view the whole time. Yeah, you can actually see Hercules 50 yeah. meters away. Um, do you have uh, data? I've got the JB coordinates can up. You get a shot. Oh, you're on it, eh? Nice. Yeah, this we got hot rod around here. No. It looks like there's still pretty good connection there. Did you say that Hercules is running like a Ferrari? Yeah, back to the same old Herc. Pardon? Very nimble vehicle. The monitor's back to normal. Nice. Not not greeny? Yeah. Perfect. So Fabio, I believe last time uh -huh. we were down here we um we we were able to there were a bunch of like tube worms and stuff, not the not the hydrothermal vent ones, but there was quite a lot of other biology down on these rocks. Um, we were waiting for the package to descend from um, from the tool basket from the shore, and we went south south east, and there we f we found some interesting colonies. Um, I know we collected sponges here, yeah, for a pro project, but I don't remember. 
specifically. What's that thing, that black thing? Urchin. urchin. <laughs> Definitely an urchin. Urchin? It's massive. Yeah. Hurt you. Yeah. It's like pharmasoma. Well, you want to be a scientist, do you, Derek? Let's go look at some rocks. <laughs> well, no. Geology or biology? We might be get time for that later, but we if, once we get this. I'm a, I'm actually waiting for Argus. So okay, yeah. I was like, yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I can look closer at the note on the. Yeah, can you can if you. If we're still waiting around, if you want to zoom in or something on any of these creatures, that crinoid cool. brittle stars. That urchin is beautiful. Yeah, that urchin is sweet. Oop. Getting photogrammetry of this rock. <laughs> we're just showing off the uh, wonderful uh, Zeus Plus. I'm playing around with my, uh, seeing what the balance is like too, so. Go look at the urchin. The Roomba Just watch the, the um, seismometer to the left. Yeah, Not the it. one you see right now, the, there's one further behind, kind of just port, towards right your port on a rock. Right Back at yeah, that's a cool one. Oh, oh don't go! Oh, Yo, pal, hiding underneath it. That was a fail on my part there. Well, you used to driving a broken hook. Now you got horsepower again. Yeah, no doubt. Not the uh, C bias quite dialed in either. Yeah, maybe I'm just worried about that Maris behind you. The one behind me? Uh, yeah, it's right. I think it's right behind you if you want to have a look, just to confirm. Uh, I don't see anything in butt cam. Yeah, I see yeah, it. It's back there behind. It's like light years behind me. Oh, okay, good. I'll go. Look, just to according All to right, our that's perfect. Yeah, good. marine field guide, this is either Spirosoma or Tromicosoma. Urchin. Sorry, never did get a close up That's of right. the urchin. It's <laughs> uh, uh, my habit. Underneath uh, Atlanta now. My habit to look uh, before I land, so. Yeah, if we could just get a quick node uh, fix. Roger that. Back to work. That's yeah. a cool fish down there. Cordy. Hey, Ed. Yes. Question sir. for you. The interface of the steel camera is all grainy. And looks like uh, uh, I, I still can do the manual over. controls, but not quite. Is I don't want to be right it's over it, do you? Don't take yeah, as much as possible if they're going to do the redo the. Uh, okay. Very interesting. Uh, I'm going to do a DVL reset over it now. Roger. Looks very industrial. It's, uh, Fall safe morning, yeah, search is that what that's called? Yeah, but supposedly. Roger, got it. So I've got another coordinate there, data for, this is just the node itself. The last one was the junction box. I think it's having a hard time auto-focusing. There's it, now it's in uh, Your mic was on, not on. Or were you only talking, you're just, you're talking now, all right. So you wanted to see something on the back side of this guy here? Yeah, just a shot of that. Fish. That looks like a fun thing to plug in and out. Yeah, it's yeah. You really well, deep in there. The only thing really in there are kind of like backbone or spur cables, so hopefully we never touch them. If you look at the top of this mm. node, Danny, that square Who's up center, there? center part comes out. This is a trawl-proof node. You got Trawl-resistant. Yeah. Ed, who's on the roof? Uh, uh, <laughs> ONC, Jeb, and okay. yeah, they're doing st uh, Starlink. Oh, they're trying install. to install a Starlink. I'm going to put it right next to the existing Starlink because apparently the data Ooh, from yours two of is them. going to be different than the We'll have the like 400 ours. megabit download speed. <laughs> Quite Call of Duty. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty good. So now we can um, navigate over to the NWMO experiment. And from the node, I've got, well, I guess, is it already in your system there? Uh, it's not, but I have it written down. What does it say you on the plan? You can just give me a bearing. Yeah, it's uh, 40 meters at 141. 141, right. Uh, but I'm going to have to move Atlanta as we 
continue down there. Um, uh, go get a look at the back thanks side Ed of this. Thanks, for uh, whatever you, you did. I, I did nothing. I was, I was just looking at it, trying to understand. Like I said, not familiar with that platform. But, but you saw how grainy it was, right? Yeah. Data, are you good with this coordinate? Going into okay, the thank you. Bar snap soon. Forty meters, one four one. So that puts you roughly. Okay, I'm already gooped off and put a turn in my other. That thing on the rock there. See everything there? You need to see. Yeah, that's all. A quick flyby. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's good. Witness so. the full power of Hercules. I'm gonna put Atalanta 40 meters, one five five. One four one. Yep. On the way. Bridge nav. Step four zero meters, bearing one five five. Thank you. Turn him back up a little bit for you nav. Um, do we know how high this is? Is it going to show up in our sonar? Yeah, it's it's about, um, I don't know, half a meter, a meter off the bottom. Okay. But we should be able to see it quite odd. It's, it's on a pallet. Um, do I have a drawing? I've got a picture here. It's going to be fairly obvious. It'll have a bridle hanging out as well, so... I see it, I see it, I see the pallet. Maybe. You got it? Maybe. That, yeah, it's about somewhere. The one important thing is that um, they really don't want any sediment in the Niskan samples. Roger, and I'll come up a little here and slow down. Looks like it's about five meters away. Come up and get a uh, shot of it, figure out which way the wind's blowing. I can actually bump up the range on the on that guy. On meso or no. yeah, twenty meters is fine. Twenty or twenty-five, it might see out here. it on the right there? Was that? It's nothing, huh? No, nothing. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for uh, Atalanta now. Okay. It is a perfect square, so if you see that in your sonar, that's likely it. Could be a perfect square here. Just can't get there. That guy there looks a little different than the usual sea pigs, doesn't it? 
Looks like it's got yeah, stuff on its back. Different kind of holothurian, some kind. Yeah. Zoom in on the sea pig if you want while we're waiting. Yeah, let's do it. Where is it? Oh, it's is it a sea cucumber away. or what is that? Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool looking one. Out just a, a lot of little ones down there too, I think. Well, unless yeah. those are sponges, I can't tell what the white puffs are. These like are very currently clear. unidentified on our rain field guide, so actually it's good to have some zoom zoom in. Full zoom. Footage. Who's that's not this one? Here. That's this guy. But oh, that's our best footy footage of it? Well, in our guide, yeah, so we've Oh, well, there's sure. improvement right here. Some updating our own catalog of sea cucumbers. Brito star. Like a sample. Shit. See, before I used to see the change right in the. Here's another 20. What's that? Another 20. Uh, I don't want to get too far away from the node if we're going well, back. I want to get there. Um, yeah, well, it's not coming out. Still okay. 10 meters away from the target. Roger, it's still coming. The, it hasn't started to move. Bridge nav. Ten more meters, one one three zero. Thank you. Ten, you're being stingy. I gotta get back to the node. <laughs> well, I get and we already put in twenty, so we're we're pulling hard here, so Yeah, Roger, it hasn't it hasn't moved yet. Okay. Atlanta's still moving from the 20. I don't want to get... Roger. I don't see uh, what that target was anyway, so... Yeah, okay. I have the target that they gave me was is going to be to your starboard side. Um, but I don't know. I didn't see it in the sonar, so... Uh, the meso's not going to pick it up up this high, so... Yeah, how about the... Uh, I can't turn. Cost you a Snickers egg. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe. I think those are rocks. They don't look like yeah. a pallet. Uh, I have it from you right now. According to their dead rack, it would be 19 meters at 232, which is back towards Atlanta's path. Bump that up another five meters, would you? Ooh, that was good, Rennie. 50 meters? Nice. Uh, no, back down a little. 30? Yeah, 30 will work. Doesn't it have a 25? There's 20, 30. Roger. 30 it is for now. I might be able to type it in, but nope. Mm. Sorry, what was the bearing, Rennie? Uh, it should be kind of dead ahead. From you, at least that's the dead wreck that they gave. Was it's about 17 meters, two two four. I don't see it over there though. Me neither. I see pallet-like rock formations. Yeah. Well, if we if we go there, then we'll know that we are. What was it? Forty meters at one four one. 
And then that was the dead rec from the node. Did you use right, your put trig function there? To, that so. could be it there, but it doesn't look uh, square enough. Depends on how silted in and that's the wrong. <coughs> it's further away. Yeah, no to 15 yeah, no meters further away. It is 19 at 211. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if it's open on multiple computers or something. Let me double check this here. 40 meters at 141 from the node. That will be. Yeah, it's just like at 141. 40. Really? And then 141. Yeah, it says, we'll it, three says it's um, there. This side here. Hard to see that. only 15 from you. Yes, yeah, right. I did have a target out there, so we'll have a look. Are we looking for a pallet or yeah. autonomous? Uh, yeah, it's still the autonomous, no cable. Wandering around the dark parking lot with a flashlight. Yeah. Jenny, how's the hydraulics looking? Beautiful. Thumbs up from Danny. Like they there. should. There it is. Oh, there it is. Good. Okay. okay. Perfect. Wow. Look at that. Right on the X. Right on the X. Good enough. <laughs> yeah. should do that before. Let me fly so off. So of we never, never kind of stayed down current <laughs> from it. If there down is current, a, If there is current. <laughs> there is. So just down current and we'll sit there and then take a few Niskins. I lost the plot which way that was. Give me a second. Our Niskin pulls with low hydraulics was pulling the balls, of, uh, the pull ball off of the uh, strings. I can't wait to see what it does with full beans. Yeah. About the operator. Total. Well, where's the arrow and the archer? Appears to be negligible, but we are drifting this way. Are you concerned about the tether at all, or not really there? Yeah, uh, maybe. No. Yeah, it could come up, Danny. Yeah, it come up. About five meters. Uh, come up ten. We're gonna have our Atlanta over us here in a minute. Just trying to get that really cool overhead shot. Be a 30 meter delta. Yeah, you're looking right down at, at us. Yeah, come up to 35 if you're under us. Not a lot of current to. As long as that. That should be alright. Maybe come up a little more because you're if you under us. You can get some good s stills of this, that would be probably useful. Fabio. I'm getting it. I'll go. Just letting the ROV drift around to see which way the wind's blowing here. Sure. Appears, appears to be blowing towards us now. I mean, you see the ROV slightly drifting back. What are the little sticks in the uh, mud there? Those are uh, pieces of aluminum. <laughs> so they, they'll be gone in a couple of years. Am I meant to impale myself on those? <laughs> They're about eight inches <laughs> long and kind of just sitting loose in the mud. Right. So you don't want to actually sit down to do this, you want to hover? 
So for the Niskins, I just want to hover, and then once we've taken them, we're going to actually recover three of those, um, three of those samples. But we have to kind of see which ones they are. So I know they're in one of the four corners, but um, not have they, they're labeled and color coded and whatnot. So it's either this side or the side or the opposite side. The side. Wrong one. It's either this side or that side that we have to be on. Uh, sorry, I wasn't watching. I'm watching when I'm trying <laughs> not to hit the seabed here. Yeah, well, we'll do that next. Okay, this, Danny. This is probably per. Uh, what's our altitude right now? Uh, two meters. Two meters, yeah, that's probably pretty good if you think that's kind of our limit. Uh, I come down to a meter, so. Alright. Uh, can you put a uh, bubble back on one for me? Yeah, I can. Danny? Yeah. Oh, okay. Get them in a bit. Let me look at it for you. Does it look like a good spot for Niskin, Fabio? In situ water? Yeah, it sounds good. Roger that. Two meters out I, into I need the, No, they've uh, gone down more. It's, um, I need the bubble cam to. Oh, uh, it's. This is well, a I guess there. it's only 1.8. Uh, gotcha. As close to the experiment Can you, uh, as possible. For me? I yeah, I don't want to. I'm, uh, I'm assuming they're talking. Go for the low hanging fruit. It's easier to get. Okay. Did you oh, hear that thing from Fabio, Dan? What's that? Fabio was asking closer to the experiment, I think. Roger. No, no, I mean, no? I think it's okay. The okay, altitude good. Is, I mean. Do you want me to brighten that up, or are you okay? You can brighten it up. Yeah, you want that. Copy coming up. Oh, wow, so look at that. This can number one. Number six. Yeah, okay. This, this number one equals number six. This can Wow, six. it's an arbitrary number, so. Put it. That's it's the orange. aft one, right? And skin yeah. triggers. Yeah, you can pull. No, you can pull whichever one you want. That one pulled? Yeah, it's triggered. It's How triggered? many are we doing? Yeah. Well, let's do four. Two are um, specifically for filtering, and then two will be for filling up the the containers that we're going to put these in once they are at the surface. Skin triggered. Two. Slow draws. This can trigger. Now it's number four. This can trigger. Nicely done. Okay. Great work. Don't go too far away. You're going to need that. Perfect. Okay, so I think from my sketch that I've got here, we are looking to be on orange and blue I would have to get a little closer it's hard to confirm yeah, I can get closer on the other side is what I believe we have to be on but I would like to confirm that still they have the, the push polypro lines are blue I think right yeah so it's the, the we blue. have to be on the other side right and I think Sorry, go ahead, dude. I can't ones, hear you. Fabio. See the, I think they call it called the, 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 the handles of the polypro line. Yeah. And How heavy are these guys again? They're 25 pounds, uh, right. oh, in size, uh, it's 30 centimeters ish, foot long or so, five side inch box. diameter. And we're getting how many? Two? Three. Three. And what are we gonna do with them? Uh, buy a box. Right. Well, there's a sea star on one of them. Mm -hmm. Or actually, the cable. <laughs> I'm gonna change the transparent the star. Camera. One of the poly. Yeah. Pro. Okay, so we're collecting. I think there are those three. I think yeah. C one, L two, and A three. Could put one of those bio box cameras in front. So of the me. three on the right is sample. what you're gonna be going for. You're gonna damage your screen. What's that? C one, L two, and A three. Uh, yeah, but not yet. Don't do it yet. Okay, let me know. 
Yeah, I think those are them. Because you got uh, the blue, blue on the third one. Yeah, that's it for sure. So which ones? The three on the right. Three so on go the right. Please. Red. Blue and white, orange and red, and red and orange. And they can be recovered in any order. Right here. Can you circle them on the screen for me? What kind of crab is that, Fabio? Can you do them on the telestrator? I, I don't see a crab yet. Can. That's right. On can you guys telestrate the ones that you want? This one, this one, and this one. Gotcha. Okay. And the crab is right there. Okay. It looks like they're just a regular crab. Stable. Yeah, we're going to set her down on the seabed here because. Uh, 